comes from the Lord on this brand new day and a brand new month. Yes, we're almost at the halfway mark of this year and it might have been a rough beginning for some of us, but listen, we know that all of our help comes from the Lord. We will look up. You know, maybe some of us, you know, took a bath or a shower well, today, you know, and some of us might have a skylight or a window where we can look straight up to the sky and the clouds. And we might not see the Lord physically, but we know that he is there. He's listening. He never leaves our side. And in Psalms 121, as a reminder, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth, which made the sunny days, the cloudy days, the rainy days, whatever weather. He made the whole universe all the elements therein in every circumstance and situation and every person that is residing in the earth. He made them. So he understands their inclinations, their temperament, their personality. He understands that situation. He's the creator of all. So we should go to the manufacturer of all matters. And it says, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He doesn't take a nap. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't get tired of us going to his thrones. And Father, we need you. No, he will be with us at all times. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. He is our comfort. He is our shield. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night, but the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Preservation, life preservation. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and coming back in from this time forth even, and even forevermore. So that is great comfort today. We don't know what will happen. We don't know what's going to take place this summer, the rest of the year, the pandemic, you know, the COVID's back up, shootings, violence, the economy, they're saying depression, recession, so much international concerns, Ukraine, other matters all across the world. But he shall preserve thee because you're the apple of his eye. We would have gone to Ezekiel 21 today and in verse 7, you might be feeling like this in the second part where it says, Wherefore sighest thou that thou shalt answer for the tidings because it cometh, and every heart shall melt. Does it feel like that your heart is overwhelmed just with so much and turmoil and troubles and trials? And all hands shall be feeble, weak feel like you can't go in another moment and every spirit shall faint hmm even the young men shall faint but they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and all knees shall be weak as water behold it cometh and shall be brought to pass saith the Lord God well we know that the remedy is in verse 2 when the Lord was speaking to Ezekiel and he said, son of man, set thy face toward. Let's set our face toward heaven. Let's look up and look continually to our father who is the source. Again, we will lift up our eyes. We will look up to the Lord. He is the one who will restore our strength. He will refurbish. He will renew us. He will reinvigorate he will give us all that we need today for this brand new month for this brand new day for this brand new hour don't go it alone because we have no resources but God with God we can do all things through Christ through his strength father we thank you Lord that we do not have to go through life and the rest and the remaining of our days without you, Father. Lord, your grace is sufficient. That means more than enough for whatever we're going to confront. 
whatever is going to confront us today, oh God. We lay it at your feet, Father, and we take on your likeness, your spirit, your all sufficient grace and all completed work on the cross, Father. So now that we can can walk boldly and do great things only through your power. So Father, Lord, have your way in our lives as we surrender everything to you. And Lord, we take on every fruit that you have produced in our life. And we give you the praise, honor, and glory for what you're going to do individually and as a group of the body of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.